but this is a prime example of I'm going to have to do a lot more work over here than I would uh, like at last week. You see how tall this is out here? Now, if you don't have a bagger, what do you do with that? It's a lot, too. You can't blow it in the grass. I mean, but you, you can't blow it in the street. And if you blow it into the yard where you're creating, and the yard is just as tall, then you're creating even more. So my thing is I'll edge this, and then I'll bag it. Uh, I'll cut it kind of high and bag it. I'll bag this whole roadside right here, all that whole patch right there and then right here, all the way down to where my truck is. I'll bag all that. And then what well, what that does is that, that minimizes the cleanup because there's no place to, if I, if I just mow this, there's gonna be grass everywhere and there's no place to take it, man. That ain't gonna suck time. So y'all see how green it is? Yeah. But you see how tall this road, that this is the part I hate right here. Even edging it, I'm gonna have to edge it and then I'll probably have to come back with the weed eater and touch it up. So, now I could do it with a weed eater, but it would take me a, it would take me a minute and it would be it wouldn't look nearly as good. And it's not that much. It's just, you know, down this side right here, down that and then that. So let's do this piece first. Uh and go on, let's go on and edge everything. So, uh yeah. And I'll be using the Red Max edger, my favorite edger in the world. <laughs> not crank the lawnmower up. So I want to do all this first. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna turn the camera off uh, and I'll be back up here. I'm gonna go on a weed eater all the way around the house. And basically what I do is I just start right here at this corner and I zip around the house real easy peasy. But see, this wall right here has created another pass. Used to, I wouldn't have to worry about this side. But see now with that wall there, you gotta worry about that side. And that's been, that's, that's what I was talking about in the truck. So normally I would just, come down the driveway and then we eat along the beds on along the house the house being the center of the donut go around the other side come out come out this side and go up that wall over there into the street done but now it's changed because now I got to go down through here and then I also got to come back this way and, and get you know edge that uh, and I edge it with a with a weed eater edge that wall so uh, I'm gonna go on and do it, do all the weed eating, and then uh, when I get on the mower, I'll turn the camera back on. So since I'm cutting this kind of high today, what I'm gonna do is I'm do, I'm not gonna cut it and then try to bag it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the mower on about three and a half, and put my accelerated bagger on there, and I'm gonna bag it in one 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 scoop. And y'all see how good this thing works. I want to get good footage. Uh,
so you guys see the problem if i go down through here right now without the bagger on there or the shoot blocker then yeah but if i if i put a shoot blocker on here it's going to clump all up for this particular job and i know there's going to be people coming you need to get some shoot blockers i probably do i probably and i probably will uh but uh i haven't yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick the bagger on the mower real quick and uh go down through here and cut off some not all of it and then uh i'll come back yeah and the thing about the accelerated bagger is if you overwhelm it or you try to you know cut real low uh, it'll clog up and then you got to get off the mower and you got to stop everything to unclog it so uh yeah uh I'm definitely going to, have to put the bagger on it. It's too tall uh, over there around that wall. But y'all see, this looks nice here. Uh, and that's like a three and a quarter. So uh, she doesn't, she told me not, do not cut it real low, you know. Uh, so let's grab the bagger, all right. These things are about $700 too for this thing. So it ain't like uh, a real cheap piece of equipment but I've had this one about six years so that's how they last a long time and you can buy parts for them uh, like I had to replace the door it cost me $65 to replace the door you just call them and order it or whatever online uh, that's the only thing I've ever had go bad on them is the door you see the way it goes on here y'all see that 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 hole right there y'all see that just pick it up and hook it on the deck. That's simple. Then you got a bagger. And really, this is not the best situation to be in with a bagger. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put y'all right here. And I'm going to leave it on regular. 